This podcast is sponsored by Link. If you're learning English and want to study the transcript of this episode or any other episode, there is a link to the lesson on Link, L-I-N-G-Q, in the description. Link is a language learning tool that allows you to turn anything in your target language into a lesson. Podcasts like this one, YouTube videos, Netflix shows, news articles, blog posts, whatever it is you're into. One click on the Link browser extension and you have a language lesson to work through translating words and phrases you don't know. Because no one else, you know, everyone else wants to stay healthy. Thank you very much. Um, For sure. And I wonder, so. you know, well, with, with all the mask wearing, everything is down. Yeah. You know, I think mask yeah. wearing obviously may pay more attention to not being as gross as you say. And uh, even when you are near people, trying to maintain more distance. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. You know, like in, we've both lived in Japan and masks are the norm there. Yeah. If you feel even a little sick, you wear a mask. I remember this time last year, I was an early adopter, I guess you could say of, of mask wearing. Yeah. So I'd go down to Safeway in my mask and people would look at me like I was crazy. I felt that way. Maybe it was just me being paranoid, yeah. but I do feel as though at the beginning there was, there was definitely some no question. No hmm, question. Do you, do you really need that mask? That seems a bit extreme. But now, of course, it's commonplace. So Yeah. Yeah. And I remember thinking, okay, you, you should wear a mask. You feel self-conscious wearing a mask because you've never worn mm -hmm. one and most people aren't wearing them. And mm -hmm. I remember being in the bank with my mask on talking to, you know, the, there's a late, there's a late, a lot of banks will have someone at the front that's like welcoming people or mm -hmm. whatever it was. And, um, it, like she was not that young this lady i'm like she didn't have a mask on i'm like why don't you have a mask on I know. <laughs> you know? yeah it, it's uh, interesting the the different yeah. uh, approaches to this i yeah. had a naturopath appointment i remember a couple of months ago the naturopath's mother um so my naturopath is in her 70s okay her mother works the reception so this is a woman in her 90s and she wasn't wearing a mask. Uh, so I came in with a mask yeah. in this very a station for, you know, san hand yeah. sanitizing. But she had no mask. I wanted to say, what, one, why are you here? Right. <laughs> and two, just at least wear a mask. But yeah, it's she didn't feel the need. Yeah. She obviously felt safe. At, yeah. So anyway. Yeah, <laughs> it is interesting. It is interesting. I, what I wonder is, given the prevalence of masks now, has it been long enough that, like in Asia, in the future, when people are sick, will they put a mask on? Maybe. I mean, that would be good. they should, mm -hmm. but, but will yeah. they? Like, I, I, it, It's still going to be... There will have to be some trendsetters there, I think, to kind mm -hmm. of make that part of, part of the culture like it is there yeah. in Asia. But, I mean, I have no question that or there is no question that it has to has to has to work. I mean, in Asia, where I guess they, I mean, they have so many more people in mm. in um, smaller spaces. I think that they obviously must have a significant impact. And we'll see. We'll see if that's one of the changes that ends up lasting. I have my doubts. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Actually, yeah. but we'll see. <laughs> Time will tell. Mm -hmm. So um, we're coming into spring, into summer now, thankfully. Uh, do you have any, and restrictions are loosening. Obviously, we have the um, vaccine. Uh, how is your summer looking? Different from last summer, I imagine. you have any plans to uh, do anything? <laughs> well, last summer we were planning to do a trip to Europe, actually. Oh, oh. Uh, so that kind of got put on hold and then we thought about or talked about trying to do it this year but the consensus was well there's no point going if it's going to be half half open or whatever like right. it's we might as well wait another year so that um realistically no real other plans for the summer are going to be local and um hmm. Kind of there, it's going to be more sort of, I guess, last minute. I mean, maybe go, who knows, <laughs> whether Some to camping or something. Yeah, or go to the Okanagan what? or something. Oh, right. yeah. um, 
but otherwise just be around. I mean, it's such a nice time of year. I don't tend to yeah. normally travel that much in the summer because it's so, so nice here. Um, mm -hmm. The odd, you know, visit to friends up the Sunshine Coast, uh, trip like that, but um, tend to be around. Uh, so no, no real plans. How about you? I think we might try, we, um, I have a two year old son and, uh, we are thinking maybe trying to go camping on Keats Island with him just for one night this year. Do you know Keats Island? It's just off. Uh, it's nearby, like by whatever, Gambia or Keats, it's all yeah. over there. Yeah. yeah. So kind of, I don't know, like a half hour boat ride from West Vancouver. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how the logistics of camping with a we've never camped with him before the logistics of camping with a two year old I don't know how <laughs> who's like very high energy and like doesn't sleep at the best of times how do you I, I was going to say him in the tent? I don't know <laughs> I was going to say I, I foresee some sleep challenges for everybody yeah for everyone yeah yeah which so we, I, we're gonna... I kind of feel like is kind of what camping <laughs> image of yeah. camping is that anyway <laughs> yes birds yeah, it's just keeping at four in the morning and stuff yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's sure. maybe just me <laughs> no it's yeah it's tough the last time we we camped on keats uh we had a sailor uh, our dog was with us and there were raccoons around the tent all night <laughs> so she just growled and barked all night it got to a point where because we could hear them you know, scratching around yeah. like, oh, it's just mice or something. It's like, sailor, my dog, there's nothing there. And I, I put the flashlight on and there was the biggest raccoon I've ever seen just standing in front of the tent, <laughs> just nice. like ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was funny that days later, but we didn't sleep at all. And so it wasn't, it was kind of not worth it because right. I'm just miserable yeah. and tired. But yeah. it's a beautiful place, Keats Island. I don't know if you've I, if you've never been, it's, I've been it's to, they're old. I've been to uh, Gambier, I've been to Bowen, mm -hmm. but I haven't been to Keats. It's very, yeah, they're all very much the same, mm -hmm. just beautiful, rocky little beach and yeah. the gorgeous other yeah. islands in the distance. So The amazing thing with raccoons is how unfazed they are by people. They just do not care yeah. at all. They <laughs> yeah. look at you and like, they, what? <laughs> yeah. This is my island. <laughs> yeah. 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 And they can be vicious. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I lived in the West End of Vancouver and uh, there were, uh, around the time I was living there, were, there were raccoon attacks. People would walk out of their apartment to go to work and the raccoons would just run up to them and attack them. Mm. So. Yeah, we had <laughs> a friend that got bit, bitten by a raccoon, but she, the raccoon oh, no. was kind of attacking her dog. Oh. And the dog lay down and played dead and she's like worried that her dog was getting... Um, smart dog yeah and so she went over and kind of i can't remember if she kicked the raccoon or tried to throw it off her dog or whatever she did <laughs> so the raccoon Ooh. bit her and then Ooh. and then i think went ran off whatever and then she picked the dog up and was and there's blood on the dog and but the dog was fine it was her blood <laughs> oh my goodness yeah. oh no yeah did she have to get a uh like a rabies yeah, i think so shot? i think so yeah. you don't want to get bitten by a raccoon uh, no so she yeah. had to get stitches and rabies shots and... wow yeah that's where was this in vancouver you're in west van west vancouver oh yeah. my god yeah okay <laughs> good to know don't just don't mess with <laughs> no west vancouver raccoons that's right any raccoons <laughs> oh, i think raccoons like i think most dogs are they like to bark at raccoons but i don't think they really chase them down they know better yeah 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 that would not be smart for no. sure <laughs> <laughs> well hopefully we are back in the office pretty soon we get our vaccines and mm -hmm. life can go back to whatever normal looks like after this pandemic exactly um, and i yeah. think even if as as uh, more at risk people get their shots i think the hospitals We'll have fewer patients and obviously fewer people mm. dying. I mean, at a certain point, if there's nobody in hospital and nobody dying, then maybe they relax things anyway because you know, yeah. if, if if everybody else is most likely just going to get sick, then maybe. Although you hear the stories of the long haulers or whatever. Yeah. 
friend or Scary. a guy I know said his son got it and um, wasn't that sick. Maybe for a couple of days felt a bit sick and uh, but lost his sense of smell. That was in November. Still doesn't have it back. Uh, Ooh, otherwise, no. feels fine. But I, you know, you'd be worried that you're never gonna be able to smell again. Yeah. yeah. And that must have that affects your eating and everything. Oh, everything. That's, that's terrible. I know. How old is he? Like Nineteen, I think. The kid, oh, something like no. that. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. So I think all things be equal, better to get the vaccine. <laughs> oh. 100%. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You, yeah. you might not be someone who reacts badly yeah. in the moment, but yeah, these, this is happening. And we don't know who, like you like say, he's 19. Yeah. You know? Should be fine, going... right? And kind of was yeah. fine, except has lost yeah. a sense of smell. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Ay, ay. Yeah, my mum also lost her sense. She has it back, okay. though. When she had it, she lost her sense of smell yeah. and had a headache. Um, but yeah. Yes, yeah, so, so your your mom had it. That's right. I forgot that. Mm, yeah. My mom had it. And my sister had it. Yeah. They both uh, they both work in um, healthcare okay. in the UK, so it's kind of in, not inevitable, right. but they were high risk. Oh, okay, um, it just seems both, like it's um, way more prevalent over there. Anyway, I talked to my brother and, yeah. and like his family, and they they know like I don't know twenty five people that have ha had it or whatever. Yeah, I mean I, I don't know anyone like. I, few people that I know of have had it, but no friend, mm -hmm. I don't know, real close acquaintance has had it. So it just seems yeah. they, we've been lucky here, I guess. Just mm -hmm. way less mm -hmm. prevalent. Exactly. Yeah. And I guess yeah, we're less packed in right. a place like Vancouver as opposed to, I think your brother's in London, yeah. is, isn't he? Yeah, he yeah, is. So. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. Better days ahead. Better days ahead for Let's sure. Get, get exactly that vaccine and until the next pandemic no. <laughs> yeah <laughs> hopefully it'll be set up better the next time <laughs> exactly yeah but it'll be a breeze yeah no worries. yeah <laughs> well thank you mark interesting chat as always and um we will catch up again for the podcast i'm sure okay thanks El. for sure thank you bye bye, -bye.